Alright, this is a uh, first test for my parallel cell. This is my uh, 14 volt uh, 3 amp. Uh, it actually hits 5 before it starts a uh, auto current hiccup mode. Uh, this is my 12 volt input, 0 to 5.5 uh, volt output um, DC to DC converter. Um, and these are my two cells. The ammeter is showing total amps, which it'll only be able to pull about 15 because then it starts maxing out this right here. Uh, these two cells are wired in parallel, two anodes, two cathodes, all stainless steel, just crappy 304 hardware. But uh, I've never tested this. Um, I've got a guesstimation of where the cells are going to operate right around 3 volts, uh, maybe 3.3 .3 volts, which is a hell of a lot cheap or a hell of a lot less voltage than um, uh, taking two brute force cells and putting them uh, in a series. So uh, without further ado, uh, let me turn this down. This is my uh, voltage output adjust. And uh, whenever this gets power, it turns the whole thing on automatically. But uh, quite obviously, if you've got any experience with electrolysis, the amps won't go up until the voltage hits a certain point, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I've got this set on 20, and obviously it's not hooked up to anything yet. I'm just going to be measuring. Oh, I guess I'll measure voltage out too, just for shits and giggles. But it's pretty obvious. Uh, that's a um, cooling fan. I installed it just because it is a integrated circuit. And we're getting 14 volts even on the input. Right now this has a, well, it's not 0 to 5.5. It's a really 0.77, yeah. So there's 0.77. Let's turn it up a little bit. We've got 0 amperes. We've got... Still 0.77 on the meter. Let's turn it up a little more till we get a couple amps. Let's see. At one third, we got ooh, five amps here. And there, minuscule production, and we are cracking 2.35 volts. There's production, it sucks, right? So let's crack this up to 10 amps. And, uh, total production still blows. This is a, uh, inside this box, I forgot to mention, is my, uh, 25 amp, uh, which obviously these two cells closely match, running in parallel, would be about, um, 12, you know, 12 or so amps a pop. Now these cells are room temperature, I didn't even pour hot water, uh, speaking of which, potassium hydroxide, and um, I have a DuPont four-stage uh, water filter. So we're pulling double the amperage at 10 amps, we've only increased our voltage negligibly, so still 2.6 volts. So let's get it as close to 15 as we can, it'll start to hiccup right around 15, so it's like 14 and a half. And uh, where are we at here? Oh, I got my leads reversed. We are at 2.65 volts. If I could just get these damn leads on there. There you go, 2.65 volts. And 13 amps. See if I can do any better. There, it started entering hiccup mode. There you go, 15 amps, right? 2.77. And, uh, crappy production. Uh, this is brand new. The cells, uh, have been running my, uh, in my Delta cell and my Quadra cell. Um, uh, they've got fingerprints on them, shit like that. Uh, this is the first test. They haven't been conditioned at all. This is, uh... Got a little bit of foaming. Eh. Not so good, not so bad. Now I could, for shits and giggles, try... See what happens with... 
taking a lead off. And it's pretty uh, closely matched because it was at 15. It was right around 15. And I took one cell off, and there we go at 7. So these cells are pretty close. I built them as a. Uh, as close as I could without, uh, you know, going ape shit on it. So let's electrocute myself one more time. Put that back on. I'm sure, that power supply is loving it. Now, uh, adding another 10 amperes of uh, current to that would be interesting. We'd probably hit about maybe 3.1, 3.2 volts. And, yep, production blows. But uh, this is a first test. It's uh, meant to record everything, all the data and everything. So um, the the best part about this is uh, you got to realize that this cell is seeing less than three. Vo both of these cells each are seeing less than three volts. They are seeing about seven and a half amperes a piece, and uh, I'm pulling less than, and I'm pulling right about five amperes from you know, this, which would be, you know, this would be in place of the vehicle's electrical system. So, right here, it's an interesting apparatus as far as efficiency is concerned. You know, I've got nil plate area, my amps aren't what they're supposed to be, but the voltage is down, that's going to create uh, less waste voltage, is less waste heat, and all, for all I know, one of these fittings might have a leak, I don't know, like, you know, I just threw all this shit together, um, literally about five minutes before I took the video. So, uh, there you have it. Little overpriced Radio Shack cooling fans, like 13 bucks. Sucks I didn't have uh, an old computer one, or laptop one lying around, eh? And, uh, everything's nice and cool. Especially with the cooling fans.